May the 6th, 2011, at Guy Horton's, uh, the Mississippi Delta. And there's Killer the Cat. He's going to do the talking on this video. So you'll be able to hear him from time to time. This is the front yard pri prior to the flood. The flood should be here May the 18th, peak out at May the 20th. And they tell me that the roads will be impassable by the May the 14th or 15th. You see the, the bells over there in the front of the house. There's the church down the road. I don't know if you can see it on this video or not. The car shed. Now we'll go in the house. The water should be just about on the top of the front on the side porch at, at where they predict if it to the worst level it'll be uh, two foot in the house. At least two foot in the house. Now we'll go in the house this is the front bedroom the way it looks prior to trying to move some of the stuff and this is the front bedroom and the pit of all the pictures and coming down the hall Pictures on the side of the hall, house, flowers, the bathroom, bathtub, then we go in the front bedroom, the flowers, the, uh, that was encyclopedias, the front bedroom. Again, this is pre-flood on uh, May the 6th. Gives you an idea. Trying to get pictures of what the inside of the house looked like before we have to move everything. So we possibly can put it back like it was if that water don't get in this house. If that water gets in the house, then it probably will ruin all the floors. This is the pictures on the wall, the TV, the old piano that's been there forever, Hemmerdale's piano, front couch where Dad spent so much time, the walls, the dining room, and out the front door. Go back and now we go get the kitchen. I hope I'm not going too fast on this thing. But Hemmerdale and Rex is on the way to try to help pack up some of this stuff. Try to save some of it. We just hope that that water don't get in here so it won't ruin everything. If it gets in, it'll ruin the floors. It's probably good that Mother and Dad's not here to see the flood, but uh, he would. I'm sure he would take it in stride. This is the uh, the dining room. The flowers. Now we come into the kitchen. The kitchen. prior to the flood. So I'll try to put this video on YouTube where uh, others in the family can view it. The chairs. And by the way, the new ice box 
with all the pictures on the front of it. Oh, I hope that that water don't get in this place. It will be a mess to try to clean up. And we'll take a quick shot of the back porch. This is the back porch. You can hear the radio playing in the back. It's been playing for quite a number of years. Here's the washing machines. And all the flowers that we use to go on the, the graves. So it, uh, let's see if I can go around back right quick. I'm kind of, let's see if I can go through here. Dad's room. It all looks just about like it did when he was here. Let's go back through the house and go out the front door. Go out the side door. That, that old killer, he's uh, he's happy to see us today, and he's already done had him a, a can of food, so he's happy. And that's what it looks like out across. And there's the flag. I bet you the water don't get it. If it does, it's going to be super high. And we're going to chain the tank down so the tank won't float off. And here's the back of the house. And they predict the water at Vicksburg will get at 57.5, which will be 107 here. The ground here is at 105 sea level, and they predict in 107, so that means it'll be up to the bottom of the house. And if it goes to the worst scenario, it'll go to 109. That means it'll be at least two feet of water inside the house. This is the old car, and then the, the back porch. And I'm going to try to get our garden that we've got planted. So it sure don't look like no flood today, but they say it'll be here by starting coming over the road by next weekend. So we'll show you. The garden. This is the garden this year, and it'll be completely underwater if it, if their projection projection is correct. So we got squash and tomatoes and and peas up. So, but uh, anyway, I'm just making this video for our records. talk to you later and let's hope this flood does not materialize like that what they're talking about and of course the you can see the you can see the church in the distance down there and Ms. Bell's house in the distance <laughs>